This is Nick Nelson, the Mad Scientist of Muscle, and what I've got for you today here is how to use a kettlebell as apparatus. Not as weight, but as apparatus. So, what I'm going to do here is set the kettlebell so it's suspended from a high pulley. Once the bell is suspended, you can use it for gripping on and doing pull downs, you can use it for doing uh, push downs, one hand, two hands, you can do uh, pull ups where you can grip on here, set a weight that's higher than your body weight up on the uh, stack, and then do a pull up from there. Now, there's a lot you can do with it, but the very first key here is to getting the setup correct and safe. You want to make sure you're not um, in any danger as you're doing this because you will be getting the kettlebell up and using the other hand to clip it on to the stack here. To get familiar with this, start with a light kettlebell first. Um, I've got a 53 pound one here. Um, I started with a 25 until I got the hang of it. So start with a light weight that you can really, really handle no problem. You're going to need a kettlebell, a high pulley, an ankle harness, and a couple of carabiners. Now, what you want to do here is clip one carabiner to the top high pulley. Clip the other carabiner to your ankle strap, just on one end. What you're going to do here is slide this through the handle, clip that on. So now, as you can see, this kettlebell has the ankle strap looped through the handle. You probably can see where we're going with this. Now, this clip part right here, this gate part, you want to make sure is within easy reach of clipping onto that wide loop up there. You don't want to be uh, trying to find and fumbling around for the loop to clip onto as you're doing this one, so make sure you have a big target up there. Now, to get it into position, <clears throat> here's what I like to do. Set it on one leg, get some tension here. Now, get your hand underneath, get a shoulder press. Then, clip it on. So as you can see, you've got two points of contact here. You're holding it and you're stabilizing it with your hand up here on the clip, and you're holding it in the bottom of a press from the very bottom, so you can control it quite well, actually. Now, once you've got it set up, you're good to go for a variety of exercises. All right, now, once you've got the kettlebell set up and in position, and you're doing your exercises, there's a variety you can do with it. If you want to change weights, here's the best way I've found to do it. Um, also, quick point, you need to counterbalance whatever weight you're hanging from here on the stack. So basically, 50 pounds on the stack, 50 pounds here, it's going to be about even resistance. So you're going to add account for another 50 pounds in addition to what you're putting on the stack in order to actually get resistance. Now, <clears throat> changing the weight. So I've got this set to 80 here. What I want to do, get this right here. Now you're not going to try and actually lift it. You're just going to do an isometric hold to push and stabilize as you pull the pin, change the weight. So stabilize and pin. It's actually pretty easy. Um, you're not going to be wanting to use a really, really heavy kettlebell for this. Like, I would say probably a 53 is about as good as you want to get, about as heavy as you want to get on this. Once you start getting bigger and bigger, you start getting a little more unwieldy in terms of getting it set up, changing the weights, and it makes it not quite worth your while anymore. And <laughs> this is reminding me kind of like a Wiley Coyote Roadrunner trap right now. But anyways, that's how you change the weight. Get yourself nice and stable under here, press, and then pull a pin and change. And do so quickly and put it back in.
Now, once you're done with this setup, and what I like to do is just basically leave this hanging the entire time that I'm using this as apparatus, you want to reverse the uh, pattern as when you, what you use to start it up. So get underneath, stabilize it, make sure you're getting a good uh, stable point underneath it here. Get your hand on the clip, and then press it up, unhook, get grip with both hands, and then set it down. So that's the setup, that's the teardown, that's the changing of weights. Now, what you always want to do here is make sure there's two points of contact in terms of balancing this kettlebell. So again, as you're lifting it up, you're holding by the top clip and you're holding it underneath and you're clipping it on. When you're changing weights, you're holding it underneath. This is stabilizing it at the top, you're changing the weights. As you're taking it off, you're holding it underneath, you're holding it by the clip and then you're grabbing two hands, setting it down. So this is a very safe way to do it. Just make sure, like I said, you practice with a light kettlebell then you kind of work your way up from there. If you choose to, you don't necessarily need to. Um, I wouldn't go heavier than about 53 pounds for this unless you're, you know, stronger than me, <laughs> which is entirely possible. So give this one a shot. Um, this using the kettlebell as apparatus is a fantastic way to kind of mix things up. Really works great for back training, for doing pull downs, for doing triceps, for doing push downs. Um, there's probably a variety of other things that I haven't explored yet, but plenty you can do with it.